56 of this course in this video we are going to be creating this followers list project by just using html css and javascript so now if i just refresh my browser so here you can see it will take a little bit of time and will now give us our facebook followers and our youtube followers okay so the main focus of this project will be on this animation so if i just refresh it like reload my browser so here you can see it will now just take a little bit of time and it will display the data okay so this is what we are going to be building by just using html css and javascript so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our code editor and write our code all right guys so welcome to the project 56 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating a followers project by just using html css and javascript so to do that first of all we have to create our folder and now let me give you a name of like 056 and followers Okay, and inside this folder, we are going to be creating three files. The first one will be index.html. The second one will be just tile.css and also app.js for JavaScript. So now let me just make it a bit bigger so that we can just focus on our code. So for HTML side, we are going to be writing like our doc type HTML. And now let's just change this title to be like followers, uh, followers. And now let's just link it with our CSS and also with our JavaScript. Okay, so right click on it and open with live server so that we can see everything. All right, so that's that. The next thing which you have to do is to just go to our cdnjs.com and now let's just get our font awesome from it. So now let me just write like font, come on, font awesome. And now let me just give a font awesome, which is this one. Now let me just copy there. And now let me paste it underneath this title, say everything, and now let's just hide our metadata. And here we are going to be first of all using like I F A brands and also F A Facebook. Okay, so once we save our file, so now here you can see we get this Facebook icon right here and say bye bye to this uh syrianjs.com. All right, so that's that. So now let me just remove this icon from there. So for HTML side, we are going to be just writing a div with a class of container and also a card. So inside this container, we are going to be creating another container for icon. So here we are going to be placing our i with the fa and then brands and then also with fa facebook okay so once we save it and here you can see we get our facebook right there okay so that's that now the next thing which we have to do underneath this div we're going to be creating our followers container so let me just get like a div with the class of followers and now here let me just give them a data target attribute to it so it will be now equals to like 24,000 uh, pupils. Let me just get that from here and paste it inside these strings. Okay, and now let me just write like 24,000 in here. And also, and let me just write a span with the label of Facebook and also followers. Okay, so once we save it, so this is how it looks like. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just duplicate this uh, container and change these values to be like instead of Facebook, let me change this one to YouTube and also this one to YouTube and then change this one to 35,000 and also this one to 35 and we are good to go. So save the file and this is how it looks like. Let me just zoom out a bit and this is how our code looks like so the first thing we have is that we have a div with the class of container and card then we have an icon container inside this icon container we have this icon then we have this followers container with the data target attribute on it and then we have this span for label right here okay and we just duplicate that right here and we just change the values inside there all right so that's about an html so now let's jump right to a css and now let's just style it a bit so the first thing i'll do is i'll just select my everything and and now let me just write a box sizing of border box on it now let me grab my body change the color to totally white and now let me comment there for a second and now let me just write a font family of sans serif and you're totally free to choose whichever font you like okay and now let's just write our display of flags justify content of center align items of center and also height will be 100 vh because we want everything to be center on the 100 vh like 100 viewport height so save it and this is how it looks like right now so this is our body now the next thing which you have to grab is our container which is right here let me just show you this not container but card so now let me just uh, grab this card right here and give him a border of like two pixels solid black and now let me just give him a padding of 20 pixel and width will be 30 percent and also height will be 50 percent and now let me just write a cursor of pointer and transition will be just like all 0.5 seconds save it and this is how it looks like right now now the next thing which you have to do 
is that we have to provide a hover effect on these cards so we want them to be scalable and also provide a box shadow on it so now let me just do that let me just get my card and once we hover over that card so we want our box shadow shadow to be like one pixel one pixel and five pixel and then zero pixel and now let's just write our transform of scaling from 1.27 and now once we have our over mouse here so here you can see it will scale first of all and also it will just pour a little bit of box shadow right here okay so that's that now the next thing which you have to do is that we have to center everything inside there so for that we have to select our container so now let me just get my container inside this container we are going to be using just margin zero auto and text align of totally center so here you can see it will now just uh, center there these two cards right here and now the next thing which you have to do is to just get our followers list so which will be this list right here like we want to get these followers so let me just write a followers in here and then let me just write like a font size of 5 rem now we want to make these like uh these followers a little bit bigger and also let me just add a margin top on it like 2.5 rims and also margin bottom will be just 1.5 rims save it and this is how it looks like right now the next thing which you have to do is to get or form brands like these icons and you want to make it a little bit bigger so let me just get there first of all we would just do that underneath um in you know what we are going to do it above so let me just uh, get my far brands which is this class which is added to both of these icons so for brands here and also for brands here okay so let me just get there and also let me just provide a font size of two rem on it severed so here you can see we now make it just a little bit bigger so now the next thing which you have to do is to get these icons and change the color of it so now let me just do that really quickly so the first icon we have is this for facebook now let me get there and then just uh, select it and here we are going to be just using like color of RGB of 66 and then 103 and also 178, 78. Okay, so once we save our file, so this is the Facebook color. I just Google like a Facebook color, so it gives us this uh, RGB value right here. And now let me just grab my YouTube, which is this far YouTube. Let me just get that and now here the ch let's just change the color to be like totally red so we can also write red cell files so this is how it looks like or we can also provide the rgb value for it so like rgb of 255 and 0 and 0 save it and this is how like the same color will look like right here okay so this is now how it looks like the next thing which you have to do is to provide our interactivity on these uh on these uh, cards okay so now let's jump right to our javascript and now let's just add that all right so for javascript the first thing i'll do is i'll just get my followers and let me just write document.query selector of those followers so now if you log that to the console like console.log followers and save our file and then now let's just open our console in here so here you can see we have this uh followers right here didn't we give a class of followers no let me see okay so instead of query selector we have to use query selector so that it can give us all of them so now if you just expand that and here's our followers one list and followers two list right here okay and now let me just remove this console log from him and now here we are going to be just iterating over through these followers so for that we are going to be using for each and then now here we are going to be just writing like for followers and then counter okay and it will be now equals to this function and now here we are going to be setting this followers counter to be just a string of zero right here and now let's just create our function so now let me just create that function const update followers um, counter counter so i'm just making sure that i spell it correctly update followers counter yep i did it now the next thing which you have to do is to just make it a function okay so inside this function the first thing we would do is that we would get our target which will be just a followers dot, uh, not followers but followers counter dot get attribute and you want to get this attribute on it which will be this data target right here so we have this data target attribute on both of these uh, followers list right here so now let's just get there so here we're going to be just passing there to our data target the next thing which you have to do is to just get our uh, counter so it will be now equals to followers counter followers counter and it will be now equals to dot inner text not html inner text so that's that 
is to create a variable given name of like cons increment and it will be now equals to target and divided there by 500 um yeah 500 would be fine so this will be the duration of these animation you will see that just in a second now here let's just add our if and else statement if c is less than target so we want to just check our followers counter and we want to provide inner text of so that here we want to just write like mail.cl and now here let's just add word c plus increment increment right here so we want to just increment it and here we just have to just call this function like set timeout of this update counter this function which we create right here and also let me just write one in here okay so that's that now the next thing which you have to do so if this is true so then run this code if this is not true so then just uh, go to the else block and then just add like followers container dot inert not html but inner text and it will be now equals to this target right here okay now let's just finally call our function which will be this update uh counters function which we create right here and now once you save a file and nothing's gonna happen i don't know why let me just open my console so that we can get any error followers counter dot get attribute is not a function okay so i messed up here it should be dot inner html so once we save it it will give us the value of string so now we have to just convert this to a number so we can either use like a built-in number constructors or we can just use a plus sign so we just have to add a plus sign to this one and also this one. so it will now convert our string to a number so once we save that so here now you can see everything is working the way we expect them to work okay so now let's suppose if we change the value of like um you know I'll just change this one to like uh, 10,000 or 100 would be fine or 1,000 would be fine and change this one to 1,000 and once we refresh that so here you can see we would still get over 24,000 and also 35,000 right here so for that we have to just remove this 1,000 from here and also from here so once we save it so here you can see our animation is working the way we expect them to work all right so that's that all right so i guess we are done with our project so now let me just show you all of the code really quickly so this is the html code if you want to copy it and by the way you can also copy it from my github repository if you want to and this is a javascript code all right so i guess we are done with this project but the next thing which i want to tell you is that if you guys don't know about git and github so feel free to skip this video and jump right into the next one and if you guys do know about git and github and want to push your code into your github repository so this is what i'm going to do right now so we are at the 56 followers project so now let me just write a git status and now it's uh it will now show us like 056 so now let me just add everything and now let's just add a git commit dash m of like uh followers project okay so that's there now the next thing which you have to do is to just push our code into our main repository so once we do that it will now push our code into our github repository really quickly all right so now we are done so the next thing that you have to do is to just refresh our browser and it will now show us like a 056 project which is right here this followers all right so that's that if you want to get a code so you can also get it from here like we have this index.js file and we have this index.html file and also we have this style.css file if you want to get the code all right so i guess that was it about today's video and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye